It has been a busy week in the world of music and movies with the release of Jabtak Heijan and Twilight and the announcement of another New Year's Eve concert in Dubai. This is your weekly wrap with Tabloid. The long-awaited final instalment of the Twilight Saga releases this weekend. I'm not sure whether Twihards were more excited about k Pat's reunited on the red carpet for the first time since the drama of her affair with director Rupert Sanders or the movie itself. Tabloid has seen the film and the usually greasy-haired Kristen Stewart discovers shampoo in the movie and manages a see-through dress for her most public appearance yet at the LA premiere. Congrats! We also got front row, red carpet and backstage gossip passes for the MTV EMAs, with the most intriguing moment being the newly single Justin Bieber getting booed after winning Best Male. Is his appeal dwindling after he ditched Selena Gomez for a lingerie model? Only time and his next Twitter post will tell. Taylor Swift swept the awards, but Man of the Night was Psy, who snapped up his first international award, we predict the first of many, for Gangnam Style. We chatted to him on the red carpet and can exclusively clear up the Kardashian to Dubai rumours, she's not coming. Well, you're back in the Middle East this month, are you going to be stopping off in Dubai as well? I don't think I have any plans to go to Dubai, but I have to go back. When I went last time, it was so amazing. I'm going to Kuwait and Bahrain. Yeah. What do you expect? Expect? For tonight. On tonight. I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. I want to win best video. I saw Rairi Kum did my dance last night. Great. Great dancer. Back in Dubai, we've got Mixtape Rewind this weekend. If it's a flashback to the 90s you're after, catch Jenny from Ace of Base, Marty of No Mercy, Hadaway, Culture Beat, Snap and more. Swedish house mafias Sebastian and Grosso told us Dubai is lucky as we're the first date on their farewell tour. Also in town are singers RDB, Hardcore, Ash King, Imran Khan and Mika Singh, who somehow couldn't find the time to chat ahead of their Diwali Rocks concert this Friday at the Aviation Club. Demi Moore discovered the relatively paparazzi-free UAE, relaxing in Abu Dhabi before jetting off to India and back to Dubai as she celebrated her 50th, yes, 50th birthday. And the announcements just haven't stopped. Liam Hemsworth, Zac Efron and Anthony Hopkins arrive in March to film the latest Chuck Russell flick, Arabian Nights. It sounds cheesy and it probably will be, but has a budget of $90 million, so who cares? The Stone Roses rip things up in February and Sandance has offered a New Year's alternative to Atelier's Snoop Fest with the chart-topping Ellie Goulding, Rita Ora and a slew of famous DJs. Grey's Anatomy star Eric Dane was coming but cancelled. Our guest is an urgent angioplasty. Over to Manjusha for this week's Bollywood news. Shah Rukh Khan's Jab Tak Hai Jaan and Ajay Devgan's Son of Sardar are setting the box office on fire. Jab Tak collected a whopping 1.2 million dirhams on its opening day in the region. The film had a star-studded premiere at the Yashraj Studios in Mumbai with who's who of Bollywood in attendance. For once, Amir, Salman and Shah Rukh kept their professional rivalry aside and paid homage to the film's director, Yash Chopra, who died last month. Meanwhile, Amir Khan spoke to Tabloid about his thriller Talash releasing November 29th. Khan, who's known for his unconventional films, promises plenty of suspense in this murder mystery. And that's your weekly wrap.